All right, so obviously, I'm ready to party, you know? You want some cotton underwear, and I really like this stuff. Is that, you know, women, women really enjoy, you know, I can't blame them, honestly. Looking here, like from toes upwards is how they work, right? And then they look at your nails and how you're, how you're dressed. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try, pull some things out of my closet here. I've had for a very long time. So like this is a very unique piece, this, this billabong. The Quicksilver rather, I've had this for years since university. I love the details, you know, and a very special woman helped me pick this out. Her name was uh, Jessica. See? See how the shoulder? It's just on the outside, you see this seam? That's where it's supposed to be. It's a very, you know, this style, this large collar is very reminiscent of the 70s. You know, because that, that was the way of the trend in the early aughts. You don't really need that many pairs of pants, right? You buy good stuff and it lasts forever. You spend less money and then you become rich yourself. You can concentrate more time on your life with other things. Again, cotton underpants is important because polyester or other synthetic fibers close to your family jewels raises the temperature just enough for it to ruin sperm production. Here's another piece from my past. Again, we got this at the same time, thanks to Jessica, this Volcom. You know, and I've worn this a couple of times. I lost the button, which is fine. And you gotta wonder where I got my style from. It's from my mother, you know. My mother Susan went to Humber for fashion design. So the cops, you talk about the cops and stuff like that. You pull them out. It should be like this, okay? Put your arms up, say about an inch past, past the wrist. When it comes down, it, the collar, say the cuff, is going to be above, be above the knuckle. So this was a thing, right? This kept me warm at times in Peterborough. See if I had a sweater underneath or whatever. That's what a collar is really for, is to keep the wind off your neck. As it was uh, in the old times, say with trench coats or anything larger and heavier. The synthetic fibers weren't always king. Again, see this, <laughs> I'm missing the button there. I don't remember how that, 
that got lost, but it doesn't matter because the, the way that this was made and cut on the inside is very nice. It's very nice work, you know, and same with the zipper, whatever else in there. Just, you know, high quality stuff. And this was made in, where is it? This was made in China. So this was just at, you know, I'd say the middle to, beginning to middle of offshore trade. I used to really like H&M and this, uh, the consciousness collection is probably their best, some of their best stuff because, you know, fast fashion is wasteful and they, they encountered that problem. They started to fix it to their credit, but a lot of this, the, this clothing is made overseas, very cheap, very cheap and contributes to human trafficking and slavery. So a two button coat. Normally, you just do one button, that's it. In most cases, so that you can put your hand in your pocket or something like that. A three button coat, you wear the whole way. So I'm going to grab something like this. I haven't, I've actually given away a lot of my H&M stuff to, uh, to charity because I just had too many clothes, way too many. But there's some really nice details that H&M does have for these at the time, you know, say the stiffeners. Right here, keep the form on the collar. And I'm not a big dude, right? Like I'm 150 pounds of screw you. You know, the other part of these fabrics is kind of nice, was the stretch. I really enjoyed that. Again, just an inch past, or a little bit more. So you know, if you have form-fitting wear and you're fit, women just they can't they can't even look at you. They 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 go like weak in the knees. There's nothing more attractive to a, uh, to a woman than a well-dressed man. So I have multiple belts too, and it's good. Change it up. Depending on let's see, let's go with this one. 
So this is a military style belt. Okay, black and gold. And uh, these double as tourniquets. And the way that you wear a belt like this in the military, at least the Canadian one, is just like show, okay? So you want to have these, you know, normally for most styles of pants, it's just below the belly button. Just like that, okay? Now, believe it or not, when I was a kid, I walked down the runway once for Northern Getaway. So this is very nice, right? If you're gonna have solid colors, you wanna have something of a pattern on the outside, the texture. It's very attractive to the eye. You know, and it's okay to have the accessories, like a nice watch, or a pin. See, that's the RCF pin. Or say, you know, you'll see a lot of, not just, you know, people who like the military, or survivalists, a paracord bracelet. And I made this one myself. Just like that. Okay? Here's looking at you, kid. So you can wear a tie with this very easily. But the flap is nice. You know, it's, uh, say, just moving around. Just have some fun, you need to fuck it. And I have some more, but I'm not gonna show you all my cards. Because poker is a gambler's game. 